Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about America's gun, the 1911. The 1911 was developed by John Moses Browning in 1911 and was a service pistol for the U.S. troops from 1911 to 1985. This is an amazing gun. It, if you've never shot one, you absolutely need to. And we're not just going to be talking about any 1911 today. We're going to be talking about a Wilson Combat Custom Made 1911. And for those of you that don't know, John Moses Browning is probably the most prolific gun designer of all time. Not only did he design the 1911, he designed the high power, the Browning automatic rifle, A5 shotgun. For so many amazing gun designs to come from one man, it's just truly an amazing feat. But today we'll be looking at the 1911. This, uh, as I said before, is a Wilson Combat. I have been looking for a high-end 1911 for a while and I looked at a bunch of them. I looked at um, Colt Special Combat Government, uh, Springfield Armory TRP, Nighthawk Custom, and all these are really, really good guns. I'm not going to knock any of them. But I started thinking about, you know, when, when you put improved parts on one of your 1911s, it seems like you always turn to Wilson Combat. Wilson Combat parts are the highest, the highest caliber parts you can buy. I've never had any problems at any Wilson Combat parts that I've ever put in any 1911. And they make the best 1911 magazines and just everything about them was just top notch. Also, while I was looking for a high-end 1911, I started looking to people in the firearms industry that, that, you know, I really respect their opinion and, you know, think a lot of what they say. And Larry Vickers and Ken Hackthorne both, both speak very, very highly of Wilson Combat. Um, they just, they think it's a great, great gun, and I have to agree with them. I finally got it. I've been waiting eight months on, from when I turned in my order. You, uh, you order the gun, you put in any special changes that you want. They, uh, put you in the build process, and as soon as the gun gets done, they'll send it out to you. Hey guys, just something to think about when you think about a 1911. This gun was designed in 1911 and is still one of the best selling guns today. If you translated that to the automotive industry, that would be like saying that the Ford Model T would be the best selling car today and is still as well liked as the 1911s are. This gun is, if I'm just going to the range to shoot, a 1911 is my favorite thing to shoot. I'm not saying it's the best gun to carry. And I'm not saying it's the most practical gun, but if you're just going to go shoot, there's nothing better than just going to range and shooting a 1911. All right, I want to go over some basic features of this particular Wilson Combat. This is an X-Tac model. And what that basically is, is Wilson Combat has come up with this X pattern in the front strap and the back strap and they also put it on the rear part of the frame. What they say is that this is, they've scientifically proven that this is the most aggressive checkering process that works wet or dry you know no matter what conditions you're shooting in. And I will say that it is a very aggressive checkering. I think it's more aggressive than 30 lines per inch but some people say it's a little bit less aggressive than 30 lines per inch but either way it is very very good checkering and it does just stick to your hand. It, it, it's awesome. Some people complain about shooting it. It actually hurts their hand a little bit, but I haven't really experienced that. It, overall, for me, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I, I'd say it's slightly better than Kimber's Fish Scales, or the Smith & Wesson's using those now, too. But um, I really like it. It, it, it works good for me. Um, it also get the G10 grips, Starburst grips. The X-Tac also comes standard with uh, these new sights that Wilson Combat has come up with. you got a black outline on the back with a 30 line per inch rear sight and a fiber optic front sight that gives you a very dramatic sight picture, um, lets you get back on target real quick. 
Uh, it works really good, especially if you're shooting in daylight. Uh, you got the X, X's on the frame. Uh, I went ahead and added some features to mine. I got Wilson Combat Bulletproof Ambi Safety. I got extended magwell. I got 30 lines per inch down the top of the slide. 30 lines per inch on the back of the slide. I got extended controls, extended bulletproof controls. And I think that was about it. But overall, the machining on this gun is just absolutely amazing. It, it's very impressive. It just feels like it's on rails. I mean, it's almost like ball bearing going back and forth. Everything they've done is just beautiful. On the inside, the feed ramp is, is polished beautifully. The, uh, the barrel actually has a slight crown to it, kind of like a target rifle. I'm not sure, I don't know if I've ever noticed that in any of the other high-end 1911s. But anyway, it's really, really nice all over. Very, very, very well-made gun. I'm very, very happy with it. I want to show you a couple of neat things that do come with your Wilson Combat. Um, you obviously get the gun, you get two magazines, you get a nice little uh, carry case, range bag kind of thing. You get a manual, you get a cleaning stuff, uh, take down wrench, all, all the normal stuff. But what you also get is a test target. It's eight rounds at 15 yards. They got it all in something about, about the size of a nickel. I wish I could shoot it this good, but I, I'm not quite that good of a shot. But um, just to let you know that it, that it does shoot. Another thing you get, which I thought was pretty neat, is every process the gun goes through and the gunsmith that did it signing off on it and it also says on here that all Wilson combat gunsmiths are master gunsmiths so it's just neat, it gives you a little, a little feel of personal attention to the product um, overall I'm very very happy with it Wilson Combat is just an awesome company and I was looking for a high-end 1911 and that's what I got Hey guys, well I hope you enjoyed our video on the Wilson Combat X-Tac. Um, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Alabama Arsenal, out.